What's up, ballers? We are back with a quick tutorial for NBA Live Mobile, so this is going to be a little bit different. As you guys know, if you've been watching my live streams, I actually do those on my PC. So there's actually a way to play NBA Live Mobile from your PC. It's super, super easy. There's a program called BlueStacks, which is basically just a mobile device. It's an emulator is the technical term for it brought to your computer. There's not a whole lot of requirements for it, so most computers will at least be able to run it, but whether or not it's going to be able to run NBA Live Mobile within the emulator is a different question. So first, all you got to do, go to bluestacks.com. I'll drop the link in the description. Go to download. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it right now. Just go through, use all the express settings. Once you've got that done... You're going to want to go ahead and open up BlueStacks, so it's going to look something like this. Just like on your phone, BlueStacks has a Play Store, so it's called the App Center on BlueStacks. All you got to do is go in search, type in NBA Live Mobile right here, and you're going to see it up here. I believe I've already got it installed, although it gives me the option to install, so when you pull it up, there we go. So it's automatically pulled up for me. In regards to what you're going to need for specs on your computer, it's not much at all, like I said. you got to be an administrator on your PC. Your PC must have 2 gigs of RAM. If your PC doesn't have 2 gigs of RAM, honestly, you need to get a new PC, because I don't think they even sell any kind of computer with less than 4 gigs of RAM anymore. It also has to have 4 gigabytes of disk, disk space. Once again, they don't even make phones with less than that in regards to disk space, so... Overall, not a whole lot of requirements. There are some extra requirements for Windows Vista and Windows XP. Like I said before, if you've got those things, you probably just need to upgrade your computer. You can get a computer with better specs than that for like $200. So that would be my suggestion in regards to that. But as you can see, go ahead and pull up NBA Live Mobile. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a way to actually be able to play gameplay on your computer. So I'm going to go to head to head real quick and see if I can figure this out for you guys. While I'm actually on camera, I'm probably going to go ahead and lose that game. But if we go ahead and pause it, it should give us the option. You can see it's going to be like a little bit laggy for gameplay. But there are different controls that you can make. So WASD is for controlling. Use hotkey to change the direction. And you can see these different things up here. I believe you can add... Okay, drag this button to movement control. You got different things to set up different games. You also, if you want to play like shooter games, you can also play that on here as well. I'm going to try to control it for a minute, so obviously we can go pass. All right, so the, the direction's not working quite correctly like it said it would anyways. I might have to drag that down into the correct spot. So if I put it down here, now it might work. Let me, let me test it out. We're going to hit save. Ah, it does work. Okay, so we can actually we can actually play it. Now the thing is in order to actually be able to do stuff like shoot and pass and different things like that, we knocked down the three ball with Ben Simmons. So it might actually be easier than I thought. So right now I'm controlling my guys with WASD. Um, I would imagine you're probably going to want to have auto switch on if you're going to try to play the game on your computer. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. So you also need to be aware there is a way to assign different keys to different functions. Ben Simmons straight up rain in threes right now. I'm going to turn on autoplay while I get some of this figured out. So I'm pretty sure there's a different way to add other, other features. Okay, so we've got clicks use the right mouse button to control movement no that's not what i want to do we got link means one click toward a location two means release location okay i'm not sure how to do that correctly so if i get this figured out in like a future video i might give you guys some information on how to do it but also if you no i don't want to save the changes if you just want to get some easy season games in, if you want to get some easy head-to-head -head games in and don't really feel like playing it, you can also just pull this up on your computer while you're doing other stuff and click the autoplay button. At least in season mode, you're pretty much going to win it every time. So especially if you're mega broke and really need some coins, you can get a few coins from doing that. But there are other things you can do with it as well. I mainly use this program just for the purpose of opening packs because whenever I'm streaming... 
If I open packs on my phone, then I gotta worry about my phone dying because I can't stream and charge at the same time. So this allows me to open packs basically unlimited without worrying about my phone dying. So it's pretty neat. If you get used to it, you can probably get pretty good at gameplay as well. So I might try to do a full in-depth video on how to set up gameplay for it on your computer as well if you guys want to see that we can get like 500 likes and i'll drop that video as well but that's going to be it for this one obviously we won that gameplay easily because we are already up by a buttload hope you guys did enjoy that quick upload for today and i'll probably be streaming later as well and i'll see you guys next time